the really wild interaction I'm, I'm having with nature right now is my peach tree here. Unfortunately, it's become infected with a common fungal infection. So I've been removing the dead branches and also did an inspection around the base of the tree where too much of this, you know, just random landscaping foliage was sort of encroaching, creating really humid, wet, moist environment down here where fungus is really uh, creating conditions that fungus sort of thrive in. And so I think that's what was happening was there was a, uh, a cut a gash here in the tree that was causing uh, kind of created a weak point for the uh, infection and then also this uh, the conditions down here were not great for uh, the tree and it kind of favored the fungus so I think that's sort of what allowed the infection to take hold while I was away on my trip so I uh, took back a lot of the vegetation put some uh, sand down also down here at the base when I got back I noticed some like spongy yellow fungus growing around. So I removed that as well. Um, and then I whitewashed, then I lined, and then I limed washed it. What was interesting was this orangey stuff is kind of oozed back out of the tree from where the fungus was. And what's really kind of wild is all, all these ants that are climbing up and down the base of the tree when we did the permaculture tour in Australia with the legendary Jeff Lawton, he was telling us about how there's this fungus that grows on this property that is like luminescent, like bioluminescent. And the ants, which he called the farmers of fungus, would take this bioluminescent fungus into their nests and use it as sort of like street lights or illuminating into their nest. And so um, this idea that answer farmers of fungus has me wondering are these ants helping me manage the fungus or are the ants trying to help the fungus and create kind of conditions down here to you know benefit the the growth and the spread of the fungus so i'm not too sure i'll just have to continue to monitor and make uh adjustments day by day probably put some more sand down here probably cut this back a little bit further take some more plants out and uh, yeah, continue to just remove the dead stuff, monitor for the, the curl leaf fungus. That's what uh, I've identified it as. And um, yeah, continue to monitor the progress.